Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, I am, well, truth be told, I'm not 100% sure exactly where I am because it's dark and I'm a little bit lost and a little bit frightened. According to the GPS on my phone, I am somewhere in the hills above the Horswater Reservoir to the north of the dam, which is good news because I'm trying to navigate my way to an area called Four Stones Hill, which is a place I've never ever been to before. I should say at this point that I wouldn't normally use my phone for navigation, I would normally use a paper map and compass and that's because these things are notoriously unreliable. Batteries go all the time and you don't want to have to rely on them. But in order to navigate with a map and compass you have to be able to see the landscape around you. And as you can see at the minute I can't see anything, I'm in complete darkness and so I'm having to rely on my phone and my phone is telling me I need to be heading off in that direction. Well, that was actually a lot more straightforward than I was expecting. So this is Four Stones Hill. And now that I'm here, it's not immediately obvious where it gets its name from. Call me crazy, but I was expecting there to be some form of pattern of stones. I don't know, maybe four of them, but uh, I can't see any of them. Never mind. Fortunately, from here, there is a lovely view of the Horswater Reservoir and that might work very nicely for me. But uh, actually the sun is rising in the opposite direction, so that's what I'm gonna go and look at first. And when I'm looking for new locations, I do spend a lot of time scouring the OS maps, and what I'm looking for are two things. The first thing I want is I want something that I can put in the background of a photograph. And generally, I like to use the lakes for this, or in this case, the reservoir, Horsewater Reservoir. And I then look for something interesting to put in the foreground. And what I do is I look on the map for named points, like this place, um, Four Stones Hill. And that generally means, because they're named, there's gonna be something of interest there. And that's why I've come here specifically this morning. Now, Horsewater is an area that's reasonably well photographed and at its eastern end there is a dam. What they did was they dammed one end of the Mardale Valley and flooded it to create the reservoir. And I've seen a few photographs of the dam taken from the other side and they're all largely terrible. Now what I wanted to do was come over this side and try and get a shot of the dam and already I can see the potential. I think you know what it's like when you first come onto a location your mind starts working straight away and you're looking for different compositions even before you've got the camera out. And yeah, my, my, my photography senses are telling me that there's, there's some potential here today. Straight away, I'm thinking there is some potential here. Whenever I'm looking to put a shot together, I'm always looking to put something in the foreground, some foreground interest. And invariably that's some combination of rocks and grasses and that sort of thing. So I think there's some good potential here. And then behind that, you've got the reservoir itself. Now the sun will be rising a little bit off to the left hand side. And at this stage, I'm not sure whether or not if I set this shot up, whether I'm gonna get the sun in it, or I'm gonna get the light coming in from the side. So we'll just have to, just have to wait and see. sun's just peeking up above the horizon now. Beautiful orange glow in the distance. Uh, I've got a shot set up here, I've got these rocks in the foreground as I say. I've got the reservoir off to the right hand side and I've got that rising sun up in the top left hand corner. Now my photography is going pretty well at the moment and I'm expecting to get a shot this morning but traditionally I'm not a very natural photographer and what I mean by that is that I don't always come on location and get the shot first time. Usually my photographs are the result of me coming back time and time again and fine-tuning my compositions over an extended period of time. So we'll see how we get on this morning and uh, fingers crossed I'll be able to pull it off. I 
The sun is now fully up and I've just taken two shots. First one in landscape orientation and that had the sun up in that top left hand corner and I was getting a lot of lens flare as you would expect. So I took a second one in portrait orientation that didn't have the sun in it. I quite like that first one, the landscape orientation shot. So fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to clear up that lens flare. Now that the sun is up, the view in the opposite direction is looking absolutely fantastic. And so now I have to switch on and see if I can't find a shot looking that way. That didn't actually take me too long. Fingers crossed this is going to be okay. When I rush like this, I usually balls it up. But I found a ridge, a line in the rock here that acts as a brilliant leading line, drawing the eye off into the distance. And then behind it, that fabulous view of the reservoir. And then directly behind that, we've got Heart of Fell. And so I think this works quite well. But like I say, when I rush these things, I tend to make a bit of a pig's ear of it. This is absolutely fantastic this morning. I've turned around again and I'm going back again at that dam. Um, I'm a little bit further away from the foreground, so it's not as prominent, but I've got these some beautiful lines coming down from the left-hand side. And I'm a big fan at the minute of blowing out my skies completely. I think it gives you this amazing feeling of light, this amazing sense of what it's like to be here. Sometimes I think we try and retain all of the detail in all of the shadows and all of the highlights, and the picture that we end up with isn't necessarily a completely true representation of what it's actually like to actually be here at this particular moment in time. So I will bracket and I will capture all the detail, but the shot I will probably go for here, as I say, is going to have this sky just completely blown out. was really exciting. When you're shooting on clear sky days like this, you've really got to get a move on and get your shots done just as that sun is coming up above the horizon. It's not so much golden hour as golden half an hour when the skies are like this. Once it's up, it starts to get a little bit harsh. Uh, it's a little bit harsh now, but I think I've got a couple of decent shots in the bag. Quite excited to see what they look like on the computer and if I can clean them up because lens flare I think is going to be a problem this morning. But uh, before I go home, I have spotted another shot where there's some potential. So I'm just going to go and scout that out. <laughs> 